welcome guys welcome back to the channel for um the derby the derby de la mole preview um the game on friday uh, a bit weird don't like it but it's a good game um in terms of usually intensity like usually it's a good game intensity wise or tactically i don't know people don't like it uh, the tactical side a lot in terms of it can be it can get very boring at times uh um, between Torino, it can. Uh, like over the last couple of years, we had some games where like it just happened in the last moments a lot of times with Torino, and usually we are at the end of it. So, and that's positive. Um, before we get in it, before we get into the, the preview, uh, as you can see, video is sponsored by Sportning. It's an app where you can chat. Uh, we have a group chat in it. Uh, you can check the scores, you can vote for your player ratings, and you can check the news with our tweets on it also. So what we tweet out in one app, a uh, link for that is in the video description. It's free to download. Uh, it's very easy, quick to uh, to use because the link will get you straight to our group chat and then you will have automatic access to um, the UVA news, uh, the games, and the player ratings after the games. You can share the player ratings also in the chat and discuss it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, now, the game, the actual game. Um, Torino, it's important for the league. And we know that Like every game now is important. We need to win basically every game <laughs> because we're chasing teams. Uh, so that's that. So that's simple. It's out of the way now. You need to win that, that game. Um, and the side note of that is you need to win that game also to keep a positive feeling ahead of the Villarreal game. I think that's important. Uh, we talked about it, about the positive feeling at the club. Um, it was 1-1 against Asuolo and you can see how the players celebrated. Now, me personally, I thought it was a bit over the top. I thought it was a bit strange because you're still behind like a point. I'm like, yeah, last minute. They celebrated. They looked happy. Maybe it's positive for them like keep the positive feeling at the club like we said or we talked about many times um so that's what it's very important to keep winning to keep the positive streak i know people say at some point it's gonna end maybe you know yeah it is what it is uh but ahead of the villarreal game um it's very important to keep that positive feeling within the club now um in terms of getting a positive result but to tomorrow the past the only positive result is winning the game like a point no go uh so win uh, that's that now the predicted lineup uh the predicted lineup for tomorrow or for tomorrow excuse me for the day uh let's see if it change is still the tried end up top it's rabio it's arthur uh predicted and rugani coming in because bonucci is injured again and that's becoming a, a big concern in my opinion looking at the back line but Rugani, he did a good job when he was called upon this season. And you would expect that he will do another job against Torino and probably against Ferial. He needs to do it again. And that's maybe the biggest concern. Eh? Uh, but for today against Torino, he should be okay. Like, I don't want to jinx it. But what we have seen from him the last games when he played, he played fairly good. Like, the first game maybe was a bit half and half. But after that, he picked it up and he was, he was good. He was quality. Um, so it is what it is. Um, Torino. Now, they are a team who kind of can see the same amount of goals as us, score less than us, which, like, it's obvious. Like, it's, it should be normal. But the flip side is we don't score a lot. So that they even score less than what we have scored tells you it will be probably be more of a closed game. Uh, also knowing... Juric and Allegri and the way we face off each other in terms of Juric playing Allegri. Um, so I expect more of a close game, but I expect us to go for it from the first minute just because of the way we set up, the positive feeling, and we need to try to put that game um, to bed early. I know Allegri says, like, you don't need to make mistakes, you need to be focused, and all those things. Uh, but... At the end of the day, you need you need to put those games away because we know at some point in the game we will have how you want to call it a mental collapse or just I don't know what it is because at times it's thirty minutes where we're just 
out of the game completely like we don't touch the ball everything we do is is bad like just overall it's not good and we have those moments a lot and the worrying part is in the last games is that those periods are getting longer and longer and longer like usually it was like 10 minutes then it got like 50 now it can get up to a 30 minute span where we're just like nowhere like we're just defending we cannot keep the ball like it's very strange so that's the flip side of our game at the moment and i think we we got away with stuff like i mean let's be honest against sassuolo at the time at times we got away with stuff even like uh, with atalanta like the league was immense uh before the end of the first half against Atalanta. So that's something that needs to be fixed. Uh, will it be fixed? Let's see. Um, that's what I like to keep saying. Like, we still have improvements and we still need to improve that. And he, he talked about it. Like, we cannot have those collapse to that extent. Like, it's normal that if you push us, if you push, at some point you're going to take a break for like five, ten minutes and you give the team the ball. But like, you have a good organization. And after you catch your breath, you go again. Like, that's okay. That's football. But not like 30 minutes of total domination by the opponent. And they make us look like, I don't know, like uh, training coins. Uh, go, like, like we're not there. Like, very strange. Um, so that's something to look out. Uh, I put up the, the form table just to put things in perspective. Uh, if you look at our form table... Um, it looks good like positive results i, I want to see more wins like because we need we need more wins that's that's just the reality uh but torino if you look at torino they're struggling they are i still think they have a decent team uh but we went over the lineup in the life um like it's a lot but it's not 100 percent fit so piaka on his day um then we have um popeka um we started off good maybe uh faded away a bit but he's still a good player on his day um so they have good players uh but just overall looking at the squad and don't want to disrespect them or something like that at home that shouldn't be a problem like i'm not saying go go out there and beat them 5-0 but like you should just win that game quite comfortable with no big issues i'm not saying it's gonna happen but just looking at those teams i would say yeah that's what needs to happen to be honest will it happen no idea absolutely no idea uh i expect us to win i said 3-1 in my um prediction in my life prediction maybe i went overboard uh because like now talking and doing the preview again i don't think we're gonna score three goals uh i think that's a bit of a stretch for for today but let's see maybe um um yeah maybe i don't know um the, the like like i said must win we talk about must win everything is a must win now uh it's a derby i don't care if it's therapy like it could have been impoli it's still a must win uh it wouldn't be a must win if you're like 10 points behind uh, in front of the top five and you are also for some reason out of a school at the race and yeah but we are chasing teams uh yesterday the news came out that Atalanta need to play Torino, so no three points allowed, or, or just how do you want to call it? Because uh, for last season we got three points from Napoli, and then the judge said no, we need to play that game. So Torino, Atalanta need to face Torino, so um, they can make up those points, and that's that. But just in general, you need to win, of course, for the standings, for the table, for the top four. But also for to keep that positive feeling within the club ahead of Villarreal, which is very, it's a vital game. Like it is because I think if you go to Villarreal and you get come back with a really bad result, all the positive things, knowing knowing the fans, the media, everyone, all those positive thing, positive things will just be wiped up off the table. I know it's gonna happen, and I know it's gonna impact the team, and that can absolutely not happen because I think that's. That, that will be game over completely because i know how it is i know like we played good in Serie A. we went in the champs league and it was awful and we forgot everything good we did maybe it's fair at the moment but just if you sit back you're like we cannot erase all the good things also like we played a bad game but it's gonna happen we know it's gonna happen i think that's at this moment looking at the team at the start of the season last season like i think 
things like that can absolutely derail this squad for some reason. So we need to win. Uh, do we need a good performance? Yeah, that would be great. That would be great. Um, but above all, we just need a win, like a good win, and we're good to go uh, for Tuesday. Um, but let's see. Let me know in the comments what you think about the game. Do you think we're gonna win? Uh, give your predictions, uh, stuff like that. Uh, Sporting link is in the description. Free to download on your phone. Group chat, news, player ratings. Uh, it's fun uh, and it's free uh, to download. Uh, so do that and then we will see you in the match reaction <laughs> later tonight. Uh, ciao.